everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Mills Plastic. And it's uh, late in the evening, but I just finished assembling my Voron V02 Special Edition kit. And so it is going through its very first test calibration print, the uh, Voron Design Cube. I haven't done any print tuning on it yet, so it probably may not come out, you know, super great quality, but we'll check it uh, after this is done and see how it goes. But uh, I had no issues with the assembly and the, um, the configuration of the electronics all went very smoothly. Everything tested fine right out of the gate. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this has come together. Uh, total build time for this for me was approximately 15 hours. I was taking my time and not rushing through it. Um, I still need to print the skirts for the bottom. Um, I just haven't printed them yet. My other printer, uh, my other Voron printer is temporarily offline while I'm going through some um, calibration settings with the extruder. So for now, I've got this one up and running and uh, I'll probably do a little bit better cable management at the top here above the print head. Uh, but for the moment, it's working rather well. So quite happy with that. And uh, I will pause the video here and come back and show you the printed, uh, the finished design cube pr that it's printing currently once it's done. All right, and so we're done with the print and uh, let's have a look at what came out of the bed. Again, this was without any um, print quality tuning. Um, so there's obviously some, some issues here. Um, these vertical layer lines are something I'll need to figure out. Um, the top surface, you know, the, the, the flat areas of the surface are not too bad, but obviously there's some extrusion problems around the perimeters and edges. Um, and the base is pretty messy. I mean, it was printed on a textured bed, but um, it was looking pretty ragged when the first layer went down. So uh, obviously there's some, you know, various issues that I need to kind of troubleshoot with the printer, but for um, the first test print, it's a cube that is three centimeters by three centimeters by three centimeters. So um, basically it's, uh, you know, dimensionally accurate and that's good. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with some print tuning uh, on a f another day and uh, right about now I'm ready for bed. But um, I've moved my V2 um, just to give you a size comparison. And there it is next to my, uh, sorry, my V02 I meant. Uh, and there it is next to my, my V2 printer. Um, so if you look at the difference in build capacity, it's pretty obvious that the, uh, the V2 on the left has a 355 millimeter bed by 355 millimeters. Uh, versus the V02 over here has 120 by 120. Um, and those dimensions are mostly also um, in the Z axis, Z axis. And so uh, you basically get not quite 81 times the build volume on the V2 than you do on the V0. But for printing um, small parts, it uses less power, um, obviously has less of a bed surface to heat up, so that's good. Um, and performance-wise, it's just as fast, or it can be tuned to be just as fast as the uh, V2. So it's not any slower just because it's a smaller printer. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I got this, and plus I just felt like building a tiny printer and uh, Hey, it's cute. I'm gonna call this one Mini Me. And my V2, I'm nicknaming Copperhead, maybe for obvious reasons. And so now I can go about applying for a serial number for my V02 and uh, take it from there. So thank you for watching. It's been a bit of a slightly longer video, uh, at least longer to complete because it waited for this printed part to finish. Uh, but there it is, my new baby printer, Mini-Me.
Thanks for watching.